Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Where does XRP stand at the moment? Before anything else, we were bracing for a huge dump, and now the price is actually moving. Warnings and ETF updates, then. In this video, we'll explain everything in detail and show you how some major companies are looking into XRP. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Click the like button if you would want to see more posts like this. All things considered, let's examine the current state of XRP. Well, the result is in front of you, as we transition from the 4-hour chart, which we discussed during my live stream, to the 15-minute chart, you can observe the market's aggressive upward movement in anticipation of prospective ETF news, which reached a peak of more than 3%. Yet again, the market as a whole appears to be doing nothing. So, what's been going on and why is this move happening? First and foremost, if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen several posts that purportedly claimed the deposit of more than 100 billion XRP to cryptocurrency exchanges, namely Binance and BitPhoenix. Apparently, that's not true anymore. Many were worried that these exchanges were receiving half of the total supply, which caused widespread panic and uncertainty in the market. Consequently, $147.26 billion worth of Ripple was transferred or supposedly transferred, in the end. This part is crucial. This is when things start to get interesting. He claims that BitPhoenix was the victim of a partial payment attack that was unsuccessful due to the fact that the company correctly processed the provided money before sealing it. Therefore, a partial payment exploit attack filters the bid for next year, appropriately handles the delivered amount data field, and I refrain from attacking it. Once again, the essence of the matter is this, and the point is that disclosing it is all that's required. Therefore, it seems that the hacker did send BitPhoenix transactions totaling more than 147 billion Ripple coins, which is a lot of money. The partial payments function, used by Nance and other big exchanges, lets the sender of a payment transaction transfer less than the exact amount stated. Therefore, in the end, the trade of forging the papers, almost jokingly, Thus, it is to the exchange's benefit that it either sells or pays out, or does something, anything, to generate the necessary selling pressure. In my opinion, the play is fascinating. Again, that's not necessarily for selling, as the exchanges wouldn't have handled that amount of business in the end. But at this very moment, there is a movement underway that discourages you from owning or purchasing XRP. I find it quite intriguing. In my opinion, the first thing to consider is what we actually saw, from there, you may piece together the other piece. At this juncture, when the XRP ledger has 5 million accounts, things are looking up exponentially as more and more projects and users switch to it, which is when the intrinsic interest really starts to shine. This is why, in my view, BlackRock and JP Morgan make a 7.5 million XRP move. As a result, you enter this realm when you begin to add and subtract. I find that incredibly intriguing. Not only are major banks buying bitcoins through exchange-traded funds, but they are also beginning to own XRP. There are many who, like Larry Fink, are avoiding answering the question of whether or not an XRP ETF is in the works. However, we believe that it is likely already in the works and will likely launch sooner than Ethereum considering that it lacks a solid foundation. The day has been quite eventful for XRP. Looking at the chart again, we can see that we were simply consolidating this bottom range on 57, which we've been in for a while. Then, out of nowhere, there was this huge move, this is where we got the whale data, and that strong move. Now, we're hoping to hold 5085, or at least this red line, which was a strong line we wanted, but it broke down below. What does this mean? Given the current market attitude, with Bitcoin swinging between 40 to 4 and 40 to 8, we could expect to see prices return to the 58.57 and a half area. Once again, the markets need to open over a threshold before we can determine the outcome of that. As I mentioned before, we can see that XRP's price is up about 1.85%, and the overall cryptocurrency market is currently down a little bit with a market cap of $1.67 trillion. Our volume is usually like on a Sunday, but we could see that come back over the next 24 hours. 
If you're holding Bitcoin equally, though, I think we could be in for a very big week. By the end of the seventh day, things are looking up, volume 659 is sure to be there by the weekend, so there's no need to fret. Completely false. Now that we've gone through the motions, let's make sure we hit the like button. We don't want anyone selling XRP, so please spread the word that this is a bad idea. Additional benefits are on the way. I believe there is a great deal of promise, after all, we did have our caucuses in April. And the day is drawing nearer and nearer. Nonetheless, please inform me in the space provided below. Have you any thoughts on this matter? Is anything this XRP movement about to happen for real? Post your thoughts on whether or not you believe institutions are attempting to purchase your XRP at a discount below. Leave a comment below and, as always, I much appreciate you watching and subscribing. Catch you later, farewell.